Spawn performs this simple recognition task three times in a row. The thought bubble at the back of the brain shows the decoding of the neural activity at the highest level of the visual hierarchy. As you can see, this is quite accurate and only very briefly delayed from the input stimulus. The activity of this top level, which we can think of as infratemporal cortex, is at the end of a four-layer hierarchy that includes visual areas V1, V2, and V4. The neurons in the earliest visual area, V1, have receptive fields and neural responses like those of primates. However, these areas are not shown in the video. Although the images Spawn is shown are quite variable, being examples of human handwriting, the model is about 94% accurate in recognizing digits. This is only slightly below the 98% accuracy of humans on the same data set. It is almost 100% accurate on the images of typewritten digits used to specify the tasks. The neural activity in the motor area is at the top of the motor hierarchy. This can be thought of as a low-dimensional representation of a motor plan that is made progressively higher dimensional as it proceeds down the hierarchy. The plan needs to become higher dimensional in order to control the many muscles that ultimately drive the arm. This task demonstrates that Spawn's neural representations not only allow successful categorization of naturally varying stimuli, but also allow that categorization to drive appropriate behavior.